Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yes. I'm fine. Um, I was recently sick with a cold, though, recently. So um, I want to share some of my experience with that with you uh, that might be uh, useful to you. Uh, and I thought I might do it from bed. Because it's fun and creative. Um, yeah, so I had, I had a cold. You might have noticed in some of my videos recently I had a little bit of a cough. And uh, because of the cough, I ended up deciding to take some medicine. Now, usually I try to sort of rough it out, but with the cough, I wasn't sleeping very well. So, you know, the sleep helps you to heal yourself. And um, on top of that, uh, the, the coughing was so much, I felt like I was like bruising my, my ribs and chest. I felt like I'd been like punched in the chest uh, towards the end there. So I, I decided to try to take some uh, NyQuil and DayQuil. Um, now, usually I like taking the liquid form. It's like uh, you just drink. Uh, it doesn't taste great, but um, it's a lot easier to swallow for me than these things. I hate these things. Uh, now, I, I, I take, uh, you know, vitamins and th supplements and things like that, like a multivitamin, and I'll do, like, vitamin C during cold season. And those aren't any big deal because the vitamins are denser than liquids. You can get them to the back of your throat and swallow. And the, the vitamins, usually, there's air in the, the gels and capsules, so you can kind of get it to the back of your throat by having it float up. These are exactly the same li uh, density as liquid, and I always like hacking when I try to swallow these things but that's just my own personal issue okay? um, the uh, personal information I want to share with you is that I took some of this past expiration now I'm gonna be doing a large video coming up uh, maybe over the next couple months or so um, where I'm trying to bring together as much information as I can about medications that are good past expiration now you may be familiar that there's been some government studies about what, what meds are good past expiration, um, and a lot of them are. People are throwing out a lot of completely useful medicines, and for SHTF, uh, it's kind of good to know how long you can store these things. So I'm going to be trying to pull together all that information. I know there's some fragmented information here and there online about people talking about this or that. I'm going to try to bring it all together, everything that I can find, and, uh, and share that with you. But for today, I wanted to share my personal data. Ugh, got these ants. Ants are trying to move into the house. Ugh. I don't like when they crawl in the bed. That's not cool. Because obviously they're going into my mouth and ears and nose while I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, uh, my own personal experience with uh, uh, some old DayQuil while I was uh, sick. Now, <clears throat> uh, I had a couple of different uh, uh, old packages that I found kicking around. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of taking a medication. So there, some of them are pretty old. There was a nine-year-old DayQuil that I found uh, in this capsule form. Uh, and I tried it, and the good news is it did not harm me. Now, with some medications past expiration, they're not just uh, ineffective, they actually, actually can be dangerous, and I'll share that more about that with you in the, in the full video. Um, experimentally, I found out for me, on this particular occasion, using the particular capsule that I had found that had been stored in whatever particular way it happened to have been stored in, um, it was not harmful for me. Now, obviously, whenever you're going to take chemicals into your body, you need to be aware that uh, they don't always react the same in everyone's body. So the fact that I survived it does not guarantee that you would survive it, but that was my experience. Um, I survived it, but it was not at all effective. Nine-year-old DayQuil, for me, given all those uh, circumstances of how it was stored and everything, did nothing good for me. Um, it was as though I had taken nothing. Um, uh, after that, I found some one-year-old DayQuil, DayQuil, and by uh, one-year-old, I mean one year past expiration. Uh, I took that, and it worked. So, there you go. I wanted to share that with you. Nine years old for DayQuil. For me, seemed like it was safe to take, but completely ineffective. One-year-old DayQuil, still safe and effective. So, that was my experience. Obviously, you get a make your own decisions, <laughs> take your own chances about what you, what you decide to put into your body, but uh, I figured I might share with you that experience of mine. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.